Insane new Lucid Air will shock the entire industry. Lucid Motors has published a new video showing their air electric sedan topping the Tesla Model S in a quarter mile time of 9.9 .9 seconds. Next week, Lucid Motors will unveil its much anticipated air electric vehicle. The electric car has been under development for years, and it has recently gotten a lot of attention because of third-party EPA range test results that put the luxury sedan's range at 517 miles on a single charge. The company has been slowly disclosing details, including the aforementioned range, as well as some amazing charging capacity and battery pack architecture. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Voltage. We are here to acknowledge you with all the latest high voltage car updates and their features from top to bottom, and also give you a brief analogy of them. So hurry up and subscribe to the channel and smash the notification bell not to miss any of our updates. With that being stated, let's jump into the business. Lucid has confirmed that the first version of the Air, the Lucid Air Dream Edition, can complete the quarter mile in 9.9 .9 seconds in another press release building up to the unveiling. They posted a video of the Air production prototype outperforming a Tesla Model S. But what is the concept of this? How is this going to be the best one? What will happen to other companies after its release? In the press release, Lucid stated, the Lucid Air Dream Edition has consistently recorded quarter mile timings as low as 9.9 .9 seconds, with up to 1080 horsepower available in a dual motor, all wheel drive combination, making it the world's quickest production sedan. This performance comes in supremely luxury packaging, with seating for five passengers and class leading interior and storage capacity. Lucid has also revealed some of the technology that allows this to happen. The drive unit and inverter, which can produce 650 horsepower in a relatively small size, are among the most amazing elements of Lucid's powertrain. To build a state-of-the-art electric drive unit, Lucid's line of powerful, compact and ultra-efficient motors are paired with integrated transmission and differential, as well as our high-voltage silicon carbide MOSFET inverter. Each unit has approximately 650 horsepower and can spin at 20,000 rpm while weighing only 163 pounds, 74 kilograms and fitting into a typical aeroplane carry-on bag. Lucid offered two photos of the inverter and drive unit. They also posted a photo of their Wonderbox, a 19 kilowatt bidirectional charger. On September 9th, the Lucid Air production version will be revealed in its entirety. I got a sneak peek at the vehicle earlier this week, and while I can't say much more than what was disclosed today until the official presentation, I will tell you that I was very impressed. Lucid's electric vehicle technology is both small and powerful. The driving unit should be given special attention. Those specifications in that package are several times better than the best technology currently on the market. Legacy manufacturers have resorted to a defensive chant in the face of years of unflattering comparisons to a boom-timey Tesla. Just wait. The pitch is that once these sleeping atlases rise from their slumber, their global clout and know-how will allow them to flood showrooms with electric vehicles, closing the gap on Tesla, which reported 936,000 global sales in 2021. Yet it's two California startups, the Lucid Air and the Rivian R1T pickup, that have just begun producing the year's most significant new EVs. Two startups, the Lucid Air and the Rivian R1T pickup, have recently begun shipping this year's most significant new EVs. A comparative test of Lucid's sedan versus the Mercedes-Benz EQS in 2022. The first all-electric sedan from the business that practically invented the automobile in the late 19th century favors a different viewpoint. A century of expertise developing internal combustion vehicles isn't always a good thing. Not when cars are being digitized and transformed and new generations of drivers aren't often impressed by old names and ways of doing things. Consider Lucid's founder, Peter Rawlinson, the brains behind Tesla's game-changing Model S. Exhibit A for his company's better in-house tech and all-electric strategy is the record-breaking 520-mile driving range he got out of the air. Mercedes, which plans to offer EQ-badged automobiles alongside similarly-looking gasoline ones, will have to cater to two sets of customers while staying ahead of authorities. It must create a new car business to replace the one it already operates. For the most astute legacy creators, this is a difficult nut to crack. The care and feeding of fuel cash cows create a dilemma for traditional manufacturers, according to Mr. Rawlinson. Electric ambivalence, on the other hand, is quickly dissipating. 
He noted, you have a clarity of purpose in being a wholly electric car firm. However, there are a few traditional automotive executives today who would argue that electric is anything other than the future. Mercedes has promoted the EQS as one of the most important automobiles in its illustrious history, much like Volkswagen has done with the ID4. The EV code may yet to be cracked, but the EQS appears to be destined for obscurity. From wizardly rear wheel steering to what must be the quietest cabin of any EV yet, the EQS drives beautifully, as you'd expect of any six-figure Mercedes. But like its overblown 56-inch hyperscreen display and ambient lighting that flows from every corner in 64 customizable colors, too much EQS tech in showboating gadgetry that might be put to any fuel automobile. Any innovation that enhances electric driving is conspicuously absent. First impressions aren't always helpful. The EQS's shabby design is based on one of the most overused EV tropes, an OM-shaped transportation pod blown up to benzene proportions. Taller adults will find their heads squashed in a cramped back seat, and there is no storage frunk as in many engine-free EVs. Mercedes positions the EQS as an alternative to its S-Class flagship. However, taller adults will find their noggins squashed in a cramped back seat. And like we said, there is no storage frunk. The Lucid is 11 inches shorter, but it still fits lanky rear seat riders and has the largest frunk in the business. The EQS, according to Mercedes, is the world's most aerodynamic production automobile. Lucid's Air, on the other hand, is almost as slippery and looks fantastic. Despite its aerodynamic design, the EQS has a maximum range of 350 miles, according to the authorities. The Lucid's most efficient version can travel around 50% further, or about two and a half hours more on the highway. Lucid is an unknown underdog when compared to Mercedes's dynastic heritage and scale. Despite this, the startup has advanced EV technology where it counts. No electric vehicle has gone further on a charge. On a 350 kilowatt charger, no EV has charged faster, adding up to 300 miles in 20 minutes. The fastest charging rate for the Benz is 200 kilowatts. How did we get 500 miles of range at 70 miles per hour? Mr. Rollinson was referring to an InsideEVs.com real-world highway speed range test. We did it by going through everything an EV could do from the ground up. The small Tesla Model 3 was a distant second at 310 miles per hour, followed by Tesla's Model S at 300 miles per hour, and the Porsche taken at 297 miles per hour. The Mercedes has yet to be tested by inside EVs, but my mileage suggests it will meet or exceed its 350 mile official rating. Mr. Rawlinson believes that a traditional automaker would set a 400 mile goal, fulfill it, and then move on. We felt like 400 miles would be a reasonable distance, but we kept finding more and more technology, he added. Range fear has finally been replaced by range confidence. Lucid is also expected to sell far more airs in America this year than the EQS, maybe as many as 20,000 from a new Arizona facility. Mercedes sold 443 EQS cars in the United States in the fourth quarter. However, the company won't say how many will reach showrooms in the United States this year. Next year, Lucid plans to release a gravity sport utility vehicle, the first of a planned portfolio and a planned expansion that aims to reach a 500,000 car annual capacity by 2030. Mr. Rawlinson recognizes the challenges that any firm aiming to follow Tesla's so far unrivaled rise will face. However, when he joined Tesla in 2009, many doubters predicted it would fall horribly. So how is this going to affect the industry? What will be the US intake on this? What do you think about this? Having said that, we have reached the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If yes, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. And it's high time for you to subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on to get all the updates on our works. See you soon. Until then, peace.